everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I feel like I've got lipstick on my teeth. This lipstick always <laughs> smudges onto my teeth. <laughs> so yeah, if I get lipstick on my teeth during this video, sorry about that. Um, but I am here today with a get ready, get prepped with me to go on holiday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to go. So we are heading away to Rhodes, which is a little island in Greece. Uh, it's quite near Turkey, actually. It's kind of in between the two, uh, but I'm honestly so excited. I asked on my Instagram for some recommendations in Greece from you guys, because I absolutely love Greece. I love Greek food. I love the people. I love everything about Greece. And I just feel like I've not explored it enough. So I really wanted to know like where your favorite places to go in Greece are. And so many people said Rhodes. I went to Rhodes, oh my God, like 10 years ago on a girl's holiday. Like, you know, your first girl's holiday when you finish. It was when we finished our A-levels, I think. Finished our A-levels and went on this girl's holiday to Rhodes. We went to like the party area, went to Falaraki. Um, and yeah, so I've not actually seen like the, like the beauty of it. And I'm so, so excited because it looks stunning. And yeah, I just absolutely adore Greece. But yeah, so anyway, this is going to be like a little get ready for holiday with me. We're leaving two days and I haven't packed anything yet. And obviously I'm pregnant. So a lot of my stuff from last year just isn't fitting me at the minute. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying to like navigate like a whole new style really, because I don't really feel super confident in bodycon things. I know a lot of pregnant people like wearing like the like bodycon dresses and stuff, but I don't know, I just don't feel that confident in them. But then I feel like if I wear flowier stuff, it just makes me look like quite frumpy I don't, I don't know how to explain it but yeah i'm just i'm just trying to navigate that at the minute but i think i'm kind of getting there uh i've been kind of pulling out things and trying things on i've got a few bits and bobs out that i want to pack so i can kind of go through that with you later on anyway uh i've had my eyelashes done feeling a little bit more <laughs> like holiday ready i had my hair done as well so so excited to just get away and just relax and just chill and pretty much just lie down for like <laughs> the whole time um, and hopefully we'll get some nice sun as well. So before I get started with the packing and everything like that, I wanted to show you a couple bits that I've ordered. I did an order on Farfetch and yeah, I got some really, really nice bits for getting away and also just generally as well. So I thought I would show you them. So this part of the video is sponsored by Farfetch. I am a big Farfetch customer as it is anyway and absolutely love being able to work with them as well. If you guys don't know what Farfetch is, I'm sure you do. But if you don't, it is like a huge online marketplace which stocks like so many retailers all across the globe so if you're looking for something in particular you're most likely going to find it on farfetch because they have such a good variety of things there their returns process is also super super simple and free which is great there's no customs and everything to pay so you know if you're ordering something from like america or literally you can order it from like australia like everywhere europe all these places and you don't have to pay customs, which is amazing. But yeah, it's definitely a great place to check out if you are on the hunt for some bits and bobs. There's such a wide variety on there. I always find so many brands that I've never heard of on there. And I do have a discount code as well, which I'll pop on the screen. I'll also pop it in the description box too. So yeah, you can use that if you do make any purchases. So let's get straight into it. First up, I'm really excited about one of these items because it's my airport outfit. And if you guys have been following on for a while, following along for a while, you will know that I love an airport outfit. Honestly, I don't know what it is. I just really love like airport style. Like, I don't know. I just really enjoy it. So yeah, this is actually it. So it's from the brand Anina Bing. And it's funny because one of you guys on Instagram actually sent me this jumper and said, you have to buy this. Like, this is just so you. And I was like, I've already got it coming. So that was quite funny. But yeah, where did this come from originally? Yeah, this came from California. How cool. So I ordered this green oversized jumper from Anina Bing. I already have the gray version of this, which you definitely will have seen on my YouTube channel because I wear it non-stop. Honestly, I think I wear it probably about three or four times a week. It's been in the wash countless times and it's never gone bobbly. It literally looks brand new every time it comes out of the wash. It's actually in the wash currently as we speak because I spilt caramel latte on it the other day <laughs> and it, but it comes out brand new every time so yeah i decided to pick it up in the green because i really really like this color uh and i just thought it was nice to have another option so yeah it literally just says anina being sport on the front there now i think what size did i get this in i think i got it in a small because i do find yeah i got it in a small her jumpers definitely do come up quite oversized and I always get questions about the sizing of them. So I would really recommend staying true to size if you want it nice and oversized or even sizing down in some cases. 
I've got a couple of her pieces in an extra small, which I would never normally buy in jumpers. But yeah, so I got this in a small and I think it's perfect because it's long enough that it's gonna like cover, sorry, I'm literally wearing sweatpants. <laughs> sweatpants are all that fits me right now, okay? <laughs> no, that's not true, but they're just so comfy. It covers the bum, which is ideal if you want that. Um, and yeah, just really, really nice. And I'm so excited because this is gonna be my airport outfit, I think. So I'm going to wear this. And then I bought the kind of matching, I wouldn't say they're like exactly matching, but they're kind of, I don't know, do you really think that they go? My idea was to wear them together. I think they kind of go. I don't know how well you can see that. I feel like it's the same tones anyway, isn't it? I bought the cycling shorts. I hope these fit on the bump. I actually went for a size large. They're super, super stretchy. So I'm hoping they're gonna stretch over the bump anyway. And then I can wear them after pregnancy as well. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this comes with a matching bra as well, which would have probably been quite cute. But anyway, I just picked up the shorts. So that's what it looks like. I'll show you it on in a second, but they're super, super soft. They've just got a little bit of Anina Bing branding there. And yeah. Oh, and they have it on the back as well. Just there. So yeah, that is my attire for the airport, hopefully, if it looks nice. I'll try it on for you guys in just a second. So this is the little green ensemble on. Please ignore the fact that my legs are really hairy. I need to shave them, but that is coming up <laughs> in my holiday prep. <laughs> That's one of my tasks I need to do. Uh, but yeah, this is the jumper on. Fits really nicely. The shorts are really, really comfy. And yeah, very, very happy with it. As you can see, it goes over the bum. And yeah, I mean, I feel like I can't really go wrong. Not sure if I will wear this to the airport because I don't know if I might be a little bit chilly on the flight with my legs out. So I don't know, I need to need to have a think about that but another box this one's pretty heavy oh my god i've just remembered what these are oh my god oh my god i have been lusting after these for so long and oh, i'm so excited okay so these are from browns which is in london i believe is it in london hang on it will say it here these came from the netherlands actually there must be a brown there. and this is them oh my goodness so they are from the brand Isabel Morant. Let me move all that stuff out of the way. Yeah, they're from the brand Isabel Morant and I can't remember where it was that I saw these, but I saw them and I was like, they're so cool. I really, really want the Chanel dad sandals basically, but they are just so expensive and I just can't justify it. And yeah, so anyway, I saw these and these are like half the price. It's still really, really, really nice and potentially more timeless because there's less like, branding on them if that makes sense well i explain when i show you them but um ooh, it's exciting that's such a nice dust bag i love the colors the pink and red together I really really love that so they are basically a take on like the ugly <laughs> dad sandal trend which i've loved for years to be honest so i don't think it is really a trend but yeah they're the big chunky uh sandals so what i meant about these being a bit more timeless than the chanel's i don't know i don't know if that's necessarily true because i know chanel is quite a timeless brand but they don't have any uh hardware on them which i think just makes it really really nice nice and simple i just think they're gonna look so smart underneath uh you know like wide leg linen linen <laughs> wide leg linen trousers or something like that but also really nice with dresses. Hopefully they fit me okay. I went for a size 36, I think. Yeah, size 36. Hopefully they fit me okay because I have got quite narrow feet and these do look quite wide. So that's the other one. You can probably see it a little bit better with the tissue paper still in it. Okay, please ignore the wires and like the uh, pregnancy pillow and stuff in the background. I don't know. Hang on, let me try and move you. So these are the sandals. This is the kind of vibe outfit I was kind of thinking like, I'll show you the outfit properly in a second, but kind of loose baggy trousers with them. Uh, but also, like I said, it'd be nice with kind of floaty dresses too to kind of make them the dresses a little bit less kind of feminine. But I don't know, I feel like these are going to be such a marmite item. <laughs> but like some people are going to love them and some people are going to hate them. So let me know what you think. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see them, but hopefully you can. And I've just paired them with these like wide leg black trousers and then like a linen, loose linen shirt to look very chill casual vibes but yeah i don't know let me know what you think guys <laughs> and then lastly we have this massive box and this has also come from the netherlands so i have been lusting after a lack of color hat for ages but they are quite an investment piece and literally for the past two summers i've been thinking about it and i've just 
haven't done it and then I've always regret it, regretted not having it like when I've been away and stuff. So I just thought, you know what, this year I'm gonna go for it. So I went for the bucket style hat, which again is a style that I never quite know if it suits me or not, but let's try it on and see. I think it would maybe look nicer if my hair was like waved or something, but we'll give it a go. Didn't really know what size head to go for either. I went for a medium, but I think I've got quite a big head, so I hope that's okay. What do we think, guys? Do we like? I actually think it's quite cool. Like, imagine, obviously, with, like, holiday gear, some sunnies. I quite like that. And I feel like the quality of these hats is just, like, second to none. Like, you absolutely cannot beat the quality of these hats. And I literally wear a hat every single day on holiday. Always got a hat on my head, <laughs> no matter what. Even if you go back through, like, all my old holiday pictures and stuff, I've probably got a hat on. <laughs> I just... I don't know, I just prefer to wear a hat to like cover my face a little bit in the sun, protect the hair. Obviously, if you're blonde, you'll know that it can go a little bit like yellow and stuff in the sun. So, I like that. I wonder what Sam will think of it. I feel like this is the sort of thing Sam would hate, which usually means it's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna send him that picture, see what he thinks. But I actually really, really like it. I'm happy with that. So yeah, they are the pieces that I picked up from Farfetch. So as I said, I do have a discount code, so don't forget to use that if you are shopping on Farfetch. I'll leave it on the screen and I will leave it in the description box as well. And I'll link all of these items too if you're interested in them. And like I said, returns are so easy. Like they literally can't pick up from your house. You don't even have to go out to like a post office. <laughs> there is an option to do that as well if you wanted to, but it's just so handy them like coming and picking it up for you. I love that. The convenience is just the best because I'm quite bad at <laughs> doing returns. Anyway, I am going to get on with the holiday packing now. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to update you on. Oh, I'm so sad because I could have had some nursery updates in this video, but unfortunately we had a bit of a disaster with the wallpaper. Uh, so my lovely painter and decorator came in, painted everything, like I, I matched the paint, you guys will have seen in my last vlog, I matched the paint perfectly, got this really nice paint, got it all painted, and then came to do the wallpapering, and he put up about, five sheets of the wallpaper oh hang on let me go grab that that was the postman just delivering a parcel for sam i think he bought some new running trainers but as i took it i went to say that's great but then i also went to say that's fab and i said that's grab <laughs> honestly i'm like such an idiot and what was i saying yeah nursery so he put up about five or six sheets on the wall and i looked at it and i was like that looks really weird it was really stripy like almost like there was a sh like a shadow on it but on every single piece so it made it look stripy and it you guys have seen the wallpaper because i showed you a sample like it's not stripy so i was like i'm not sure about that there's something weird about that and my paint and decorator was like well, maybe it's the glue like maybe once you know the paste once it dries maybe it'd be okay but it was so symmetrical on every single piece that i was like i just don't think it can be the glue anyway we waited for it to dry and it still looked like it so ended up calling up the wallpaper people and sending them pictures and stuff like that and they said it's basically a fault with the wallpaper which was so sad because they've had to rip it all off <laughs> and when they ripped it all off the wall like loads of the wall came off with it so um they had to like resand it all and everything like that <laughs> i was just like oh no that's so sad so they were meant to be done with that on wednesday and then on thursday i had someone coming around to build all of the furniture because i just didn't trust me and so i'm being able to do that ourselves like i just wanted it to be built properly and securely do you know what i mean i had someone booked in coming around on the thursday to build all the furniture so at this point literally it would have been almost there really just all the little accessories and stuff needed doing but yeah, I had to obviously cancel that guy because there's no point building the furniture when it's not decorated yet because it would just be hard to decorate around. So I had to cancel him. So currently we are pretty much back to square one <laughs> with the nursery. So obviously I have loads of time. So I'm really, really glad that I started early because often I feel as though people tell you to wait and leave it very much towards the end. But I obviously didn't do that and I'm really glad I didn't because if, it, if this had been like, three weeks before I was due to give birth, I'd be stressing. Whereas now I'm like very chilled about it. I'm like, whatever, we've got time. The wallpaper company are gonna send out some new wallpaper. But yeah, I'm just, just glad I started early. So that's a note to any mums out there. <laughs> if you're thinking about starting the nursery, but you feel like you're too early, don't just start just in case something goes wrong with it. And then you've got time to fix it without feeling like all stressed out basically. Uh, so yeah, that unfortunately is not an update I can give you, but it'll be done before she comes. So that's fine. Um, oh, hang on, I'm just getting a call. Sorry about that. So yeah, it's actually three months, which yeah, doesn't feel like that long at all. So I feel like after this holiday, I'm gonna come back and really like, 
get my arse into gear with getting everything sorted and ordered and things like that. So it is a little bit later now, I have to go out and run some errands, I need to take a few things to the post office and like things like that, but I thought I could show you a couple bits that I am going to take away with me on a holiday. I'm not going to do a try on because I just don't really have time and I will be doing like various try ons and stuff over on my Instagram, so go and follow me over there if you want to see these pieces on. But uh, yeah, I just thought it might be useful to show you them as I've got them all on the rail here. I've changed into, <laughs> out of my tracksuit, into some comfy trousers. These are from Mango and they're really, really great for pregnancy. Um, they're super stretchy. I'm wearing them in a large and they're really, really good. And yeah, this I'm actually going to be taking with me on <laughs> holiday, but I might have to give it a wash before I do so. But yeah, I'm just going to pull out a few little bits and bobs. Firstly, I always take one of these visors away with me and Sam laughs at me because he's like you literally look like a tennis player but they are so great for sunbathing because firstly you can wear your hair in a bun still with them <laughs> so if you want to have your hair up you can and then also like there's no back to it so they're great for just like being able to lie on a sunbed and I mean it, this was really cheap from ASOS because they tend to get a little bit ruined with like sun cream and stuff so these are really great for when you're just like chilling by the pool I always um, love having one of these with me just find it really really handy uh, and then I'll wear like my other hats for like you know if we're going out to like a beach club or lunch or something like that uh, I've got a few old bits on here too so not necessarily things that you'll be able to buy anymore. Let me try and find the stuff that you still can because I know it's frustrating when you can't buy things that I featured. Uh, I picked this skirt up in River Island. I bought it in a size 14. I'd normally be like an 8 to 10 in River Island. But I really wanted this to be able to sit like underneath the bump. So that was £30 and it's basically like a linen slip skirt. And off the hanger, it, it's really not doing much. But I have a vision for this. I'm thinking like under the bump, white linen shirt, big basket bag, nice straw hat, that kind of vibe, some nice sunnies. I think it could look quite nice. So yeah, I got that in River Island yesterday. Um, let me see. I also picked up some of these white linen trousers. Again, I wanted to wear them underneath the bump. So I picked these up in a size 14 as well. They're from weekday. But I feel like I'm seeing these everywhere at the minute, but I just thought again, how nice would these trousers look with a white linen shirt? This is my Oleada white linen shirt. I definitely plugged it on the last video <laughs> or the video before that, but Oleada is my own brand if you don't know. Uh, and this linen shirt is maybe the nicest quality linen shirt you will ever experience in your life. It's Italian linen. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> this comes with me everywhere I go. Uh, so I just thought like this little combo with a bikini or something would look quite nice. It's just hard like trying to get used to, like I said, dressing with a bump. And I, I love the look where you wear it underneath the bump and you kind of have your bump out a little bit. But then also part of me is like, does it look like I've just got like a big beer belly? <laughs> like, does it look like a nice like pregnant bump or does it look like an old man's beer belly? Hopefully it doesn't, but I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got some crochet trousers from Mango. Again, I'm very much enjoy enjoying the like whole shirt and trouser vibe at the minute, as you can see from literally what I'm wearing now. But these are some really nice crochet ones. Again, I got them in a... What did I get these in? I got them in a large. But yeah, I just thought these were really lovely and they have kind of like a wavy hem at the bottom. I'm really sorry that I'm not trying these bits on for you like I said I just don't have the time because we are heading out late tonight and yeah I've just got a lot to do but as I said I will definitely be doing I'm gonna do on my Instagram and my TikTok I think I'm going to do like an everyday outfits kind of thing over on um holiday hopefully uh, I picked up this dress from ASOS and for some reason I seem to be really loving the zebra print vibes and I just thought this was nice because I really like it because it's not too tight it's not too loose it's kind of that in between so yeah it's a little bit sheer but you can definitely get away with it to wear uh you know for like dinner or something but i also thought it was a good beach cover up too but i think i probably will wear this for dinner with some nice gold earrings some gold jewelry necklace and stuff maybe a little heel like a little kitten heel or something i thought that would be quite nice this is free people it is absolutely gorgeous if you are pregnant or if you're not i bought this in a small so this will literally fit me after pregnancy as well but it just skims over my bump so nicely and the material, like, I don't know how well you can see, it's got this gorgeous texture to it and it's so unbelievably soft. So I really, really, really love this so, so, so much. So yeah, I picked that up from Free People and I also picked up 
uh, the same material, but it's like a halter neck dress version. Oh, uh, this is it. So yeah, it's like a, oh no, wait, <laughs> that way. There you go, you can kind of see, looks like that. And it's like, yeah, a halter neck dress goes down into a big free skirt, but again, it's super comfy and I love the material on that. I did also get this little cord from Mango. Again, I'm loving my trousers. I just, I don't know, I just find them so comfy. So I got this, like these kind of stripy black and white trousers. And now I'm looking at them in the viewfinder. It's kind of giving me uh, either like inmate in like an American prison or referee at a boxing match. <laughs> but anyway, these are the trousers. Crochet vibes, black and white stripes. And basically they, I got these in a large to sit over the bump. And then they come with this really cute little kind of waistcoat. So I guess you could wear it over a bikini or you could just wear it on its own. Done up, it's really sweet. Uh, and I got that in, what size did I get that? That is in medium. I thought these black trousers would look nice with this black shirt, but I also thought they would look nice with this too, with maybe like a black bikini underneath or something. So I'm all about trying to make sure that I can wear a few different outfits, a few different ways, if that makes sense. So I think what I'm going to do now is grab the suitcase out and start, oh, start filling it. Oh God, I had uh, my whooping cough vaccine this morning and it's something that you um, are asked to get when you're pregnant and my arm has <laughs> suddenly just started hurting from it actually. But yeah, I think I'm going to grab the case and get packing. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I've just started to pack some bits and bobs now. The only problem with crochet, <laughs> and I seem to have quite a lot of it, is it's just so bulky to pack. Like these trousers <laughs> take up so much space. It's so annoying because they're so nice. I'm a roller. Well, I'm like a foldy roller. So like kind of roll, kind of fold, but mostly roll. I just thought I would give this dress one last try on uh, before I pack it in my case. And I figured I might as well show you guys, but it is very booby. But I feel like it's because my boobs have grown. Like normally I'd be able to get away with wearing a dress like this because I didn't really have any boobs, but I think it's still, still okay. Yeah, no, I think we're still fine. Just had a bit of a quick change because we are going to a friend's house for dinner, uh, so I've just popped a white linen shirt on. I've got my lipstick in my pocket there, but yeah, white linen shirt with these trousers. These trousers are proving very versatile. So I will catch you guys when we get back. So it is the next day now. Please excuse the mess in the background. I've been trying to work out what to wear. We are heading off to a family barbecue, so I thought I would show you what I'm wearing. This is a really old dress from H&M, but it's just a really um, good one in pregnancy now because it's so flowy. And then I just popped a belt on the top just to make it look a little bit more defined because sometimes I feel like when you wear really oversized floaty dresses, like, I don't know, I just don't think they're very flattering. So I think the belt helps that. Um, so yeah, this is my Celine belt. And then this is the dress, this is a little bump update. <laughs> and then I have my black Celine sunnies. But anyway, I'd better go now because I don't want to be late. And I'm not going to bring you guys with me just because obviously it's like a family barbecue and stuff. But I will catch up with you a little bit later on or maybe tomorrow. Hi my loves, so it is Sunday. We actually fly in like four hours, I think. Our flight's three, maybe like five hours actually, yeah, five hours. And we are still packing. <laughs> I've literally just got out of the shower and done my makeup, need to do my hair and stuff. But I am getting there with the packing, so let me show you what I've done so far. Okay, so this doesn't really look very organized. <laughs> Underneath these few bits, it's all like nicely rolled and stuff, but these bits I've just propped on the top there. I definitely feel like my case is going to be overweight. And then over here, I've just got a few bits. I've got my hat. Hats are so hard to pack, but what I normally do is I pop like my underwear in one of those uh, kind of cloth drawstring bags, pop it inside the hat and then stick the hat down and then like pack around the hat, if that makes sense. And the only way to really do it, unless you carry it. Got all of my makeup in here. This is one of the flat lay bags. And then I've got a couple pairs of shoes in there. I need to put some more shoes in. I've got this hat here that I want to pack. So trying to work out how to pack that. This clutch bag as well. This is from Cos. So yeah, they need to go in. So I have a couple of Oleada ones. Uh, I've got a small one and a larger one. And then I've got my Loewe one. And then I've also got this vintage Prada one, which I absolutely love. So I don't know, I can't take them all. <laughs> so I need to make a decision there. I'll be taking my Oleada tote bag as well, just for like any extra 
storage space uh, and it's just good as well to like take down to the pool or the beach or whatever and then i have my like electricals and camera stuff bag which is all in here i'm such a lover of like putting everything in an organized bag and just i just think it makes so much sense like when you're traveling so in here i've got my instax wide camera which is what this film is for so it's like a polaroid camera and then i also have some other film for my other film camera which is also in the head i don't know if you can see it but it's in there these are some headphones for sam got some playing cards as well charger and then one of the charger leads with like the you know the usb-c like lightning cable because we're hiring a car and i don't know if it's going to have a USB or it's going to have a USB-C because when my mum and I hired a car in um, Malaga it had a USB-C and we didn't have a cable and it's really annoying because we wanted to be able to like use our sat nav and stuff so yes I have been organized this time got um, adapters and stuff these plugs I find so good to take away on holiday they're from Ikea uh, but they have three thingies <laughs> what are they called USB ports or whatever so that you can charge like a few things at once when you've only got like a couple adapters so I've got that, I've also got my camera battery and a spare battery, my tripod, like phone mount, this is, I don't know what I'm talking to, it's probably really boring, but this is for my laptop to upload um, my footage from my camera, and yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in there, so that's nice and organised. And then this is my sun cream bag, and I actually love this pouch, it's from Skinny Dip, I think I got it in a PR package like years ago. But I love this pouch because I just chuck this in my beach bag. So whatever beach bag I'm taking with me, I will chuck that in there. And it's got all of our sun cream. And it just means that you don't get like grease and stuff on your other like bits and bobs that you have in your bag. So I've got like 50, 30, 15. I think I've got two 30s in there. And I've got two. I've got a face spray 50. That's the Garnier one. Sorry. I feel like I don't really want to get this out because it's so well organized. But at the same time, it probably would be handy if I did. So... Yeah, I've got a few different ones. I've got a, like a lip, um, what's it called, SPF as well. And then this is like a spray one that you put over your makeup. Uh, another face one. This is an old 15 SPF. Sam uses this. And we have like a 30 spray as well. We've got a 15 cream and then another 30 oil uh, and another 50 as well. Maybe a little bit excessive. Maybe I don't need two 50s. And then we have another lip spf2 because i always lose these and nothing worse than burnt lips so yeah that's in there and then i'm just packing my toiletry bag now i'm actually not going to take that because i'm going to take this instead but once i finish packing this i'll talk you through it i also have my anina bing jumper on i have got a little white tee underneath as well which i quite like like when you can see but it keeps coming down <laughs> and i've also got the shorts on as well but you can't really see that yeah, I am definitely getting there. Sandra's making us some breakfast, which is nice. I just need to pack like my hair bits because I don't know whether to take my Dyson Air Wrap or not. Not sure. So this is my toiletry bag. We're literally leaving in about 45 minutes. So I'm just going to run through this really quick. I've got my LMS cleanser, Oplex dry shampoo. I've got these bump sheet masks, which I've not tried, but I'm excited to give them a go. Uh, I've got some tummy butters and rubs and stuff. For the bump, I have a Bobbi Brown moisturiser, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, this is my favourite summer fragrance, Beauty Pie Hyaluronic Acid, Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops, and then I have an eye serum, some dental floss, earplugs, because you just never know, and these are my pregnancy gummies, and then this is like a heat UV primer for your hair from Bumble and Bumble, lip balm, tooth paste and then the japan fusion moisture mask from beauty pie and oh my estrid razor i've got um a couple emery boards and then also a beauty pie sun cream hi my loves so if you can't tell from my surroundings we are here in greece it is our first morning here i'm really sorry that i didn't like <laughs> really finish off the packing situation of the vlog hang on i'm just gonna close that Door because it's a little bit noisy outside hang on yeah sorry as i was saying i'm really sorry that i didn't finish off the packing part of this vlog oh my god the absolute stress that we had just before we left so so it was probably about half an hour before the taxi was due to come and i asked sam to come upstairs to help me close my case and he came up and he was like there's no way that's closing and i was like yes it is it's 100 percent gonna close i just need to like stuff it and he was like that's definitely not gonna close he was like why don't we transfer it into a bigger case and i was like okay fine yeah we'll do that 
anyway get the bigger case and transfer everything over bear in mind i'd pack things so nicely like all nice and rolled it was all in different sections so like i knew where everything was etc etc and anyway we put it all in the case went to close it and we forgot that our bigger case the zips broke on our last trip and we had to get it like shrink wrapped um when we were coming home in the airport because the zip wouldn't close <laughs> and there was it like no zips on the case like i don't know where the zips have gone but the zips were totally like non-existent so i was like oh my god like the taxi was due to be here in probably about 15 10 minutes at this point and i was like oh my god we're gonna have to put it all back in and you know like when you've packed something so nicely and then i packed it nicely back into the other case and i just thought oh my god <laughs> this is just so annoying so i literally just chucked everything back in the other case I was like trying to ram it shut managed to close it and then um the taxi arrived so sam put put it in a taxi and then i went to check like in case i'd left anything behind and literally like a third of the stuff that was meant to be in that case wasn't in the case i would just left it on the side but then the case was already in the taxi so then i had to get in the taxi with all this stuff on my lap to then open it up once we got to the airport and try and ram it all in oh it was so stressful and then we got halfway to the airport and i realized i forgot my driving license which we needed because obviously we're renting a car so it was just like so much going on like we definitely weren't very organized with this trip and also like i'm the one that does the organizing i'm the one that does the remembering to bring stuff and uh things like that but because i have such baby brain at the minute like my mind is so oh my god there's a massive spider over there <laughs> oh my god what the hell <laughs> my mind is just so all over the place at the minute i forget stuff constantly like i'm constantly leaving my keys everywhere and yeah i'm just a bit of a nightmare at the minute so like i feel like i wasn't on my usual packing form do you know sorry i keep thinking i'm seeing like bugs that's not a bug but that is a bug over there um i'm not on my i'm not on my usual like packing organized form so yeah anyway it doesn't matter now we are here now after all of that stress but it's so so nice to be here honestly i just feel so so grateful to be here we had yeah a bit of a long travel day and we were exhausted yesterday so it's nice to wake up this morning wash my hair and just feel a little bit more put together but i am doing travel vlogs so i'm going to finish this vlog here so that i can start my travel vlog which i'm so excited about i haven't done a travel vlog in the longest time because it was covid and then we got married and like stuff like that so like my summers have been a little bit different to normal um so yeah i'm really really excited to do a travel vlog for you guys and yeah i will catch you guys very very soon in that next one i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget my farfetch code if you are looking to do any shopping on there and i'll see you in my next one bye